Hey guys, it's Banana here, and today I'm going to be telling you guys how to set up a steering wheel in Euro Truck Simulator 2. First, what you need to do is go into Options, Controls, then Input Wizard. You might have to wait a few seconds, but if it doesn't uh, pop up in a few seconds or a uh, minute even, then just try to unplug and re-plug in the USB, and if it doesn't, uh, then sense that you have a steering wheel, and if you just got it out of the box, new, then you might have to download the firmware, just search up uh, Logitech um, drivers and uh, download the driver and set it up, because you need the firmware for the steering wheel first, if you just bought it. So then go into controllers, I'm just going to do real automatic, you can choose whatever you want, but um, down here, these two, you need, um, might need, or want a uh, shifter, but I'm not using it right now, so. I'm just going to click real automatic, and this might not be good, so just press advanced setup, and uh, now just turn the steering wheel, if that up here uh, is lighting up, that is perfect, so now uh, acceleration, joy clutch is not right, so you have to click it, then press down the accelerator, and don't worry about this, we're going to change it right now, so then press this, and press on the brake, press it down, press the brake down, on the uh, Know, stuff and then press this and plus uh, press the clutch and uh, this is all good but now for uh, looking around come to the d-pad on the, uh, the steering wheel press it press up or down it doesn't matter for a uh, look up down and then left right just left or right press next and then um so to shift up uh, you'll want to press this and then whatever you want to shift up. I mean, I recommend using the uh, the two paddles on the side uh, with the, well, I have the Logitech G920 and uh, it comes with the two paddles, shifter paddles, so you could uh, do whatever you want with those. And then, uh, so 14 and 15, I think those are on the uh, eight shifter that I am not using right now, so you don't have to worry about these unless you really want to. Press next, and then finish wizard because we just set all those up. Now, um, this is selected. So, using the uh, steering wheel, keyboard, and then um, if you're having trouble with force feedback, I recommend turning it down. Oops, uh, to just a lower setting because. It's, it really it really is strong up uh, at the default so I recommend just turning it down if um your steering wheel is pulling too much you know um I don't recommend turning it off because that just makes it really uh, stiff and it just makes it not move at all like so just centered so uh, a lot of force so then, um you'd scroll down you know that's all good that's all good I'm not using the H shifter and that is all good. So then, if you want to have like the horn, lights, anything on there, click keys and buttons. And then, what I would do is, well, you don't need to worry about these right now because you're controlling. You already set up the uh, throttle and everything in the controls over here. But then, uh, what you would like or want to do is maybe put some of these uh, like A, B, Y, and X buttons or the, uh, any other buttons on there, on the steering wheel, um, to, uh, you know, like, start the engine, stop the engine, you can just click in there, and then press the button, and boom, it's perfect. I have, uh, parking brake, engine brake, uh, yeah, B is button zero. Trailer brake I have, um, on the steering wheel, you know, left and right turn indicator, which, uh, is useful for online. Horn, have that right on the middle, and uh, yeah, you can just do whatever you want with these. Uh, just be sure to press it, and then, uh, and then press the button on the uh, or on the uh, steering wheel, and that is how you do that. You could uh, change any of these, but I do not recommend changing the ones in the primary because then, if you want to play it ever, uh, if you ever want to play your uh, ETS two 
without the steering wheel, then you're gonna have to reset these to default. Uh, and either lose the steering wheel uh, controls or your custom uh, keyboard controls for uh, any of these. So yeah, I recommend doing it all in the secondary so that you don't uh, interfere with the keyboard controls at all. So you can keep, uh, use either steering wheel or keyboard. So that is how you set up the steering wheel in Euro Truck Simulator 2. Hope you found this video uh, useful guys and uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And uh, Yeah, just have a nice day guys. I uh, hope you enjoy using this steering wheel now. Hope this video helps you and um, yeah, just see you next time guys. And I will be uploading some uh, ETS2 videos very soon with this steering wheel. I'm going to be using it um, in uh, online. Truckers on P. Also, watch um, if if you're looking to get this much money right down here, then you could watch my video on how to hack this game. Uh, it actually works. It's not it's not any scam or anything. But you can also uh, get this much XP. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, just uh, guys, just have a nice day. Really hope you enjoy this video. Be sure to subscribe. Fish on banana. Out of here.